On the south end of Nanaimo, just off the busiest road in town, lies a slice of one of the rarest ecosystems in Canada. And unfortunately, it's under threat. Come with me and, and let's go learn more about it. This is Harewood Plains, a small area of undeveloped land located on the south end of the city of Nanaimo. It's bounded by the Nanaimo Parkway to the north, McCown Way to the east, and Harewood Mines Road to the west. It might not look like a whole lot here in mid-March, but give it a few more weeks and these open meadows will be transformed into one of the greatest displays of wildflower diversity on Vancouver Island. To learn more about the immense ecological value of Harewood Plains and some of the threats that it currently faces, I caught up with Paul Chapman, executive director of the Nanaimo and Area Land Trust. You know, you can see it's a meadow here and surrounded by forests, and it's a series of meadows like this. It's not like the big wide open plains of the prairies, but it's these Gary Oak Meadows surrounded by coastal Douglas fir forest. We're getting pretty close to the northern, northern extent of Gary Oak Meadows in Canada. You know, there's a few spots a bit north of here, but uh, you know, this is essentially as far north as it goes. Most of those other meadows are very near to settlement and all the troubles that come with settlement, you know, uh, use, uh, invasive grasses and other plant species. So this is our most intact Gary Oak Meadow system in, in the area. And also, you know, here in the Harewood Plains, there are three endangered species, one of which is Hosakia panata, which is formerly known as Lotus panatus, and that's our, uh, the city of Nanaimo's official floral emblem. And so what's, you know, what, what ties it all together with Hosakia panata is you know, we know from mapping that there are a couple plants downhill of us here, and we're standing near the top of a ridge. And all the water that falls here and flows downhill as uh, vernal seeps, so springtime flows that are at or just below the surface, and then they gather in, in vernal pools. And around those vernal pools is where, if, we're, if all the conditions are perfectly right, is where you'll find Hosakia panata, Lotus panatus. But this is the only place that they exist in any sort of numbers and the only place where any sort of species recovery will come from. Given the fact that Harewood Plains supports anywhere from 85 to 98 percent of the Canadian population of Hosakia panata, it may be surprising to some that this area hasn't already been protected. Last year, the city of Nanaimo received a development permit application for a 480-unit subdivision which is to be built right on top of Harewood Plains. You know, our concerns are with that development is that road and those foundations are going to arrest those flows that the Hosakia panata and other plants rely on. Uh, you know, if you build a roadway across a slope, it's hard to imagine the road and drainage you would design that wouldn't interfere with that hydrological flow, that flow of water downhill. And the same for, you know, every foundation for every building. It's going to be more, not just an impediment, but it's going to arrest that flow downhill. So that's, that's the concern is that this is such a very rare place. Uh, we might try and engineer solutions for how we can, you know, build a road and still have water flowing. But it's, that's really going to be a grand experiment. And that grand experiment, in terms of Hosakia panata, could result in the extinction of that endangered species in any sort of viable population in Canada. Thankfully, it isn't all bad news. On March 4th, 2024, Nanaimo City Councillor Paul Manley made a motion to work with all levels of government to try to protect Harewood Plains. While this motion really just served to get the bureaucratic conversation started, it passed unanimously and provided a glimmer of hope for the future. A few days later, I caught up with Councillor Manley to discuss some of the challenges that come with trying to protect ecosystems in a part of the world where large portions of the land base are privately held. And Nanaimo is, is part of the southeast coast of Vancouver Island, which is all part of the ENN land grant, which 8,000 square kilometers was given to Robert Dunsmere in order to, you know, as part of payment to build the ENN railway. And because of that, there's so little area that's protected here. Everything you see, all those hills and mountains, that's all private land. And it's unlike anywhere else in British Columbia or really in Canada where um, so much of the land is privatized. And because of that, less than 2% of the land base of the regional district of Nanaimo has any kind of conservation or park status. And so we have areas within the city and within the regional district that are ecologically and environmentally sensitive. And Harewood Plains is one of those areas. It's culturally significant, it's ecologically significant. Just speaking to elders at Sinanema, that, that this is an important area for them as well. Their whole traditional land base has been privatized. 
through the ENN land grant. And so it's really important to be working with Nanaimo on this, as well as the regional district, provincial government, federal government, and, and trying to move the ball forward on protecting some of these areas. Ultimately, the city of Nanaimo does not have the budget to purchase Harrod Plains in its entirety, so it will be up to the federal and provincial governments to recognize the significance of this piece of land. Councillor Manley's motion is just one small step, but it is a hopeful one that, with any luck, will lead to a future where the incredible wildflowers of Harewood Plains will continue to bloom for generations to come. Uh, more, I'm more hopeful today about Harewood Plains being protected than I ever have been. I think that this solution for the conservation of these in a, in a meaningful way, it's going to exist across political boundaries and going to take, a, take us, you know, coming together at all those different levels to make this happen, and I think we can do it.